Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to start with the first chapter of our subject that is fundamental of ICT. The name of the chapter is introduction to the computer system. As per the name we can understand that uh, it is all about the basics that are present into the computer system whether it is related to the hardware or whether it is related to the software part. So let's begin with the uh, first chapter and first point of the uh, particular subject that is fundamental of ICT. So what is the basic uh, definition of computer? So before uh, going towards the theoretical definition, uh, I will explain you in few words like any of the system is going to work in the manner like it is going to take the input it is going to create the desired output but how it consists of a certain processing in between the input and output so between the input and uh, before the output there are going to be certain instructions such as programs so this three stages entirely makes a system any system it may be so as the computer is also formed in the same manner so what is the definition of computer a computer can be defined as an electronic device which processes the information supplied that is inputs and produces the desired output according to the given instructions instructions means programs uh, in the bracket i have mentioned these three things that is input output and programs now another definition of computer is it's an information processing machine so it is used for the purpose of mathematical as well as logical manipulations means it can solve all these kind of operations into it but with the help of the set of instructions only also it contains the capacity to store the data temporarily or permanently let's begin to work right that is how does a work, uh, computer work that is working of a computer system a computer system is a programmable machine because we can create uh, new programs into it and according to the uh, way or according to what task we want to carry out the similar way we can do programming to the computer so here you can see how, what they have told is a computer is a programmable machine designed to perform arithmetic and logical operations these logical and arithmetic operations takes place in automatic manner as well as in sequential manner the inputs are sometimes given by the users to get the desired output after processing the same which i told uh, during the um, definitions of computer the same uh, thing is uh, repeated here that is it is going to solve the arithmetic and logical operations in sequential and automatic form with the help of input that is given by user to get the desired output okay so uh, the same thing is repeated over here you can see here computer mainly works on three principles as i told one is input then the processing part then the third one is output now here in the right corner you can see there is a person using a computer system okay what does that person do is the person is doing the task of uh, data entry the person is entering some data so that person is giving input now what does this input uh, do this input is been provided to the processor of the computer that is here you can see there is a cpu on the left hand side so what does the task of computer is to process that uh, raw data that the programmer or uh, data entry person has given as input and what does the computer do is it processes it and it gives the output now output is in the form of reports lists uh, that we obtain through the another device known as printers now we all know what is printer printer is an output device okay so whatever the soft copy it is present into the computer we have obtained it in the form of a hard copy in the form of a paper with the help of printer Okay, we'll move towards the next slide then.
so let us know what are the different parts or components that are presented to the computer system so how does a computer system becomes a computer system so it is first it is included with hardware second important thing is software then the third one is data and the fourth one is the user okay so let us know one by one so about talking about the hardware now hardware includes all the uh, hard parts like materials uh, computer screen we can say keyboard we can say mouse these all things are been considered as the hardware part of a computer whereas now the software parts are like uh, software is something tells the computer or hardware to perform which tasks okay softwares are the uh, tasks that are given by uh, created by users or sometimes inbuilt into the computer system then the third one is data now as i have told you the data is nothing but the information that is processed like suppose we are entering from keyboard what we are giving we are giving the texts we are uh, giving input as numbers image audio or a video that that is all considered as data okay so that is the raw facts inputs that we provide as a uh, sorry uh, this data we provide as a input to the computer system okay so that data can be text number image audio or video and the fourth one is user now whoever that use uh, whoever the person is that uses the computer uh, for various uh, things it is used for uh, uh, institutional purposes again it is used for office works and again it is uh, used in various fields nowadays so the user whoever is uh, using the system is called as a programmer can be a data entry operator also okay and most of the times engineers also such as the one who is designing the computer hardwares okay so for all these things we require a computer and the most important part is to have a user to it so according to the uh, user the specifications of computer also changes so what are the four parts of uh, computer system or four components of computer system the first one is hardware that is all such as uh, devices that uh, combines together and becomes a computer that is nothing but monitor keyboard and mouse and software is something a set of instructions that is going to perform certain tasks okay in short or in simple words i can say that software is going to tell the computer to perform which tasks or a certain tasks and data as i have told you the person is giving data as a input the data can be image text number or audios or videos now user is the one can be programmer data entry operator or any engineer also and also the computer is most widely used for institutional purposes also next we'll move monitor keyboard mouse etc things or devices that is combined together to make a hardware now we will see what does a, a software consist of or what are the types of the software so we'll see how it is divided now here you can see software is divided into two parts system software and application software so we will now study what is the difference between these two okay what is the so system software the name itself tells us system means the computer system and the softwares that are already present into the computer means a system software is nothing but a collection of programs means different programs are collected together so these programs are used for the purpose of carrying out the certain activities at hardware means these all programs are been coordinated together to perform certain task in short into that particular hardware okay now uh, system software we can say operating system is also a type of a system software drivers that are inbuilt into the system software now what is the application software application software the name itself is application means it is coming towards the user user means we okay now application software is nothing but the general regular programs that are written by users like you and me okay to solve certain specific problems like you now wordpad is there spreadsheet is there 
power point presentation is there these all things are nothing but uh, worked out by uh, simple users who are we can say even uh, anybody who is not an engineer or a computer related person also can use these things right word pad spreadsheet so these are nothing but the general purpose programs that are reason, written by user to solve uh, certain uh, problems okay so you understood what is the difference between system software and application software so system software is already that is something present inside the computer application software is nothing but which user can use on in on their own end okay so your example of the system software is operating systems drivers here the example of application software is word word pad spreadsheets again many other things are there like powerpoint presentation also okay so uh, let's start with the block diagram of the computer system here uh, we can say it is divided into four parts the first one is input side the last one is output side in between which it consists of a so storage unit and a central processing unit okay that is a cpu now here you can see the input side where the program or data is been fed to it on other another side it has a output unit that is nothing but the information that we get as a result on our screen now the storage units are also of two types that is secondary storage and primary storage that we are going to see in further slides then the central processing unit is also divided into two types that is control unit and arithmetic and logic unit okay this entire uh, you know different parts when comes together forms the entire computer system now let's see one by one all the units that is unit input unit output unit storage unit and cpu unit okay let's begin with unit now what is the input unit input uh, input unit something that a computer needs to receive from the user end we as a user you and me let us consider as a user we need to give the instruction okay or we need to give the data on which we can uh, understand or solve any problem that we are having so with the help of a system okay so what uh, what uh, does the computer's primary work is to take the input from the user like you and me it is going to take the uh, input from user that is nothing but data or can be instruction also for the purpose of solving certain pro uh, problems okay so what are the ways what are the ways we can provide input from one is keyboard one is mouse there are other few like joystick light pen barcodes for now we will just focus on keyboards and mouse so uh, as they are the basic ones most basic ones that comes with each and every computer set now you can understand keyboard keyboard is what we use for purpose of typing we type through uh, keyboard and uh, exactly what is displayed on our monitors similarly so the, so the keyboard is nothing but it is a input device similarly mouse too mouse is having the cursor that we can move here and there we can point with the help of it we can drag with the help of mouse so that in, that is nothing but a again input device right we are giving the instructions now how does the input unit works like it accepts the data instructions from outside world like that is user convert it in the form that the computer is going to understand Compute, computer is not going to understand our language like starting from a to letter z it is not going to understand that what does it is going to understand is the binary language so for that purpose binary it is converted into binary binary means only zero and one okay then it is converted to the computer system for the further processing that is the third step into an in input unit move towards the storage devices one of the most important part into the block diagram of computer system that is storage devices this is used for purpose of holding or uh, storing or uh, saving the data before uh, we give the results like input is given it needs to be stored somewhere right otherwise how we are going to process it or after processing also or before giving output we need to store it somewhere for this purpose we need the storage devices we can also call that um, so we can also call that data later on also because 
if the data is stored after our usage if next time we want to access that particular data it needs to be stored somewhere otherwise if the data is lost uh, then we cannot access is except access that data next time so we'll see what are the types of memories there are two types of memories one is volatile another one is non volatile memory now what does the volatile memory means Me volatile memory is something that is temporary now once you switch on of the uh, particular system all the data is lost all the contents are erased whereas non volatile memory is something whether you switch off that uh, particular um, system turn it on the data is supposed to be preserved over there only the data will not be lost the content will not be lost okay we'll see what are the types of storages we saw what are the types of memories now we will see what is the types of storages one is primary storage and other one is the secondary storage now as i've told you during volatile type of a memory the primary storage holds a volatile nature secondary storage holds a uh, non volatile nature means same here the data is going to get lost and here in the secondary it is not going to get lost even if you turn off the uh, particular system in primary it is going to get lost it is temporary in secondary it is going to still remain the same now what are the types into it it is ram and rom that is random access memory and read only memory we are going to study about this in the uh, later slides then there is a hard disk and cd and dvd as a example of a secondary storage now suppose we are performing something in primary storage we need to, that data to be stored then what we need to do is we need to move it immediately to this secondary storage because if there is a sudden loss of power or if there is in a sudden uh, we if we need to access it next time and we are turning off that particular system uh, we need to obtain that data again right so for that purpose the uh, data in the primary is supposed to be transferred to the secondary storage what is the central processing unit as i have told you the central processing unit has been divided into two parts one is arithmetic logic unit and one is control unit side so arithmetic logic the name itself tells that it is going to solve all the logical arithmetical mathematical operations such as multiplication subtraction addition etc all these are under arithmetic logic unit whereas in the control unit it is going to take a control over all the operations that are used or been performed such as input output and processing okay so these all are controlled by the control unit so in this video we have a, in this video lecture we have studied about entire overview of hardware and software what are the computer basics what are the input systems output systems memory storage uh, storage systems storage unit units and what is the central processing unit then uh, also we have seen how does a computer works okay and uh, entire block diagram we have covered it into this lecture okay hope you have understood this thank you